Hello students, welcome back. So we were discussing certain properties of charge as well as methods of charging. Now let's apply them in some examples. So let's start with example number one. A glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth. Glass rod requires a charge of plus 19.2 to 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. We have to find number of electrons lost by glass rod, charge gained by silk, and is there a transfer of mass from glass to silk? We are given mass of electron. Now student, this is a case of glass rod being rubbed with a silk cloth. Now in this case, we know when rubbing takes place, that is charging by friction must be taking place. So this is a case of charging by friction. Now when charging by friction takes place, there is a transfer of electrons from one body to another. In this case, from glass to electrons. Now, how much mass, how many electrons are being transferred can be determined with the help of quantization of charge which says that Q is equal to Ne. Now, we know capital Q is 19.2 to 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. We know small n is integer and E is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. That is charge on one electron. So we apply the values, we'll get the value of small n to be 12. That is 12 number of electrons are lost by glass rod. Now since electrons lost by glass rod will be same as electrons gained by silk as it is the case of charging by friction. Therefore, we can say that charge on silk will be minus n into E, where n is 12 and E is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So we apply the values, we'll get Q to be minus 19.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Now we know the charge on silk, we know charge on glass. Let's find, will there be a transfer of mass? Now students, we know when charging takes place, it is due to transfer of electrons. It is due to transfer of some finite mass because electrons have some finite mass. Hence, we can say, yes, there is some mass transfer because electrons has a finite mass. Now, how much mass transfer will take place? That can be given by mass of one electron into number of electrons transferred, which will come out to be 1.08 into 10 to the power minus 29 kg. Now student, this was a case of charging by friction and quantization of charge clubbed together. Many problems are formed with the help of these two concepts. Let's discuss one more example wherein charging by friction is clubbed with which body will gain which type of charge. Now, if an object made of substance A is rubbed with an object made of substance B, then A becomes positive charge and B becomes negative charge. If, however, an object made of substance A is rubbed with an object made of substance C, then A is becoming negatively charged. We have to tell what will happen when B and C are rubbed with each other. Now students, what are we given? We are given A and B when rubbed with each other, A is acquiring positive charge and B is acquiring negative charge. When A and C are rubbed with each other, then A is acquiring negative charge, obviously C will acquire positive charge. What will happen when B and C are rubbed with each other? Now, let's solve. Now, from information 1, when A and B are rubbed with each other, we see A is acquiring positive charge and B is acquiring negative charge. As a result, we can conclude that B has higher tendency to gain electrons as compared to A. From second information, when A and C are rubbed, we can see that A becomes negative charge and C becomes positive charge. So this can help us determine that out of A and C, A has higher tendency to gain electrons as compared to C. Now from step 1 and step 2, we can see that out of A, B, C, B has highest tendency to gain electrons as compared to A and C. So, when B and C are rubbed with each other, then it is very obvious 
C will lose electrons and B will gain electrons. As a result, we can say that C acquires positive charge and B acquires negative charge. So, students, we can see charging by friction and which body will be charged negative and which body will be charged positive. We have learned one example illustrating this particular concept. We'll come back in next modules. Till then, students, thank you.